Good day, I'm David Maurer with Aspire Johnson County for another Monday Minute Moment. And I'm joined today by Ardeth Waller. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And you're with Ardeth Waller Bookkeeping. Bookkeeping. Well, right? good. Great to have you. Thanks for coming in. Thank Would you, you share with us what you do? So I do bookkeeping for okay. small business and nonprofits. And we offer mainly three different services. Okay. One would be if a small business just wants to get started on QuickBooks Online, I can help set them up. And, okay. And another is if they would like a training session on using QuickBooks Online, I can, I can do that. And then I tell them that if they get to the point where they're tired of doing their bookkeeping the evenings and weekends, then that's when they come to me. Okay. And then for that would be full bookkeeping services from uh, reconciling their accounts to okay. making sure everything's categorized properly. We have review meetings, reviewing their profit and loss statements, their balance sheets. Um, I like to take it a step further and review metrics of their industry so that they understand where they sit with their competitors. So maybe their pricing might be a little low and it's time yeah. to increase it. Okay. Um, maybe their costs are too high and let's look at how they're, uh, what they're spending on costs and to help with their bottom line. Um, and then we well, just good. take it from there. So Well, good to know. I think that information alone is valuable to kind of know where you are relative and in comparison with your competitor. So good to know. So talk about the process of discovery. I know mm -hmm. that's a buzzword that is floating around there in the uh, bookkeeping mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. So the way I use that is when I first meet a client okay. and understand what their bookkeeping needs are, then I will, if they already are on QuickBooks, okay. then I will just ask for a temporary access so I can get in there and kind of look around and discover. Mm -hmm. are, are the entries in the right place? Are loans sitting on the balance sheet? Um, a good example I like to share is if you're using Square or Stripe, are those recorded okay. properly? Because you don't want to record the net. You right. want to record your full revenue, less your fees. So, and then the other, the other idea would be just to get an idea of what the bookkeeping needs are so that I can estimate what, estimate what those services okay. would, would be for the small business. Okay, so shifting from the services and all, talk about your team and everyone, mm -hmm. all that plays into mm -hmm. your branding and your services. So I started this because years ago, I was a bookkeeper when I was a stay-at-home mom. Right. I did it on a part-time basis. Okay. I loved it. It was extra cash. It helped my keep my sanity I did something adulthood like yeah. and then also it helped open doors when I entered into corporate America okay. um, then I was able to at least show that I was working yeah um, so I want to offer that to my team as well um, I would love stay-at-home parents to work on a part-time basis okay. um, I'm finding that I'm finding the people on the opposite end of the spectrum that are interested that have retired and they just want a little For bit sure. of extra cash but mainly what I do is I'm the face of the client, yep. and then they are in the background. They are doing all of the, the processing, okay. the, the data entry and everything, and because the, they are really part-time, and I'm I sure. want to make sure they're flexible on their hours. Yeah. So I'm the one that's in front of the client and going okay. through the review meetings and working with them and yeah. making sure everything's done properly. That's good to know, and I'm sure you've developed a lot of great relationships over the last yeah. few right. years that you've been indulged in this in this industry so so as we're closing give us a uh, some insight on how someone can get a hold of you so I have a website it's called Ardeth Waller bkkg.com um, so it's a r d a t h w a l l e r b k k g dot com I'm also on LinkedIn under Ardeth Waller um, but on the website, you would just, okay. there's a contact form and we would get in okay. touch from there. Well, great to know. So. Well, thank you for coming in this thank morning you. and we hope you all will walk away with a better insight of what Ardeth does. And if you're interested, please reach out to her. Well, until the next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you.